All right, I had some requests on how I go about turning a picture into a vector. That what I use it for is uh, etching onto glass, but I'm sure there's other uses. Um, start out with something like this, and uh, this is what I turn it into. Um, so I'll show you how that's done. Start off with a picture like this, and uh, first thing I do is make a new layer and I lock down the original so that it can't be moved and then I just start tracing around it with the pen and uh, may not be the best at this in the world um, I haven't been doing it that long Okay, so now I've got a rough outline of it. Um, it might not be perfect, so um, and I just go back around and look at it again and edit around, um, see if anything can be, you know, slightly better. Watching back on this, it's. I can tell it's kind of annoying the zooming in and out, but it's almost giving me a headache to watch. I'm sorry about that. So now I've kind of got it to where it looks halfway decent, so it's going to end up being white. Now I'm going to start going through and adding some more details to it, make it look more like a car. I left a little bit of space in there in between the edge of the car and the little black box that I'm making so that the vinyl would have something there. Now I'm making a black box around the whole picture. See what the finished product looks like. So now I'm just going to go through and start adding more things. Add the window, add the windshield. Again, leaving a little space in between the edge. Adding that grill there. Can't really decide where I want to make the box. Sometimes you kind of have to make calls like that because it's getting cut out of vinyl. It can't have too much detail. But just keep going through and adding all the adding all the details to the car. And the car is going to be white, and everything that's added onto it's going to be black.
Now I start adding on the body lines, the I just make those a line instead of a shape and then put the outline stroke around them. Kind of have to experiment with what size to make it because all the pictures aren't all the same size. When I'm going through I try to match it best I can to the car and then at the end some of it kind of looks goofy, like where the car is rounded. These are sometimes a hard call where there's sort of lines in the body but there's not an actual physical barrier there, you know, like where doors come together or a hood comes together. There's just shapes in the the way the body's made. So it's sometimes a hard call. Sometimes I'll add lines in there and then go back to delete them later because they look goofy, but just have to kind of experiment. Now it's starting to look more like a car. This I ended up ended up deleting this because it didn't look quite right. Just Wheels are sometimes hard to do. Sometimes they, you know, you just trace the black and the white or whatever. Sometimes they look really good. Sometimes they look like hell. This is what I talk about that I ended up deleting it. Decided this would work better. making a lips
Now I'm just going through, quit looking at the, the original photograph and just go through and anything that stands out to me that doesn't look right, I just go through and kind of fix. Even if it doesn't, even if it's not entirely accurate to the car, that's what I was talking about. There's a rounded spot in the body line right there with the with the door line, but without seeing that rounded area with the shading of the photograph, you can't see it, and so it just looks goofy. So I just take it out. Now this, I couldn't really decide what to do with it, because, again, I'm making it less accurate, but it kind of looked goofy the way it was. This is just going to end up being a little speck of vinyl, so there's no sense in trying to trace the whole lettering, so I just trace the outside of it. Now it's halfway decent, I saved it. So now I'm copying it, pasting it into Photoshop, but um, making it a little bit bigger. I like having it. I like having it pretty big. So now I'm just going through and anything that stands out to me that doesn't look right go through and kind of just fix with Photoshop because I think it's easier to work in Photoshop. Go through and make the lines thicker to where it can actually be cut out of vinyl because if the lines are too small it won't work. made a new layer there so I could try and round that off a little bit then I just erased it and then flattened it back out flatten the two layers so what I'm doing I'm holding shift and then uh, clicking with the paintbrush and then you can click one point and then another point and that makes a straight line in between the two spots there might be a better way to do it but I'm kind of self-taught, so that's the way I have always done it. No one showed me any different. Now I'm just looking back at it in Illustrator, just looking to see if there's anything. Now saving it and opening it back up in Illustrator. Do an automatic trace. Now just go through and if anything stands out, just go through and give it one last little touch up. And a lot of that just doesn't look quite right, but it's going to be so small on the vinyl that you'll never be able to tell. Now I'm just making the box around it a little bit bigger so I can write Mustang under it and that's it.